Hello everyone and welcome back to a new topic in uh, Microsoft Word uh, 2013 lab number 7 uh, To get started with uh, today's lab you will need two files You will need Word Lab 7 instructions file Also you need the uh, uh, Word Lab 7 starting file uh, you should download these two files and open both of them and position them as we uh, usually do for any new lab one on the right side for instructions one on the left side so you give yourself enough room to work on the lab so I will go ahead and do the same thing I will open the instructions I will position it on the right side and then I will open the starting file and I will position it on the uh, left side so uh, topics covered in this lab we will create a title page we will learn how to do that also we will set the margins we will insert a table we will learn how to uh, insert a page break and then update paragraphs uh, settings then we will use the find and replace also we will use footnotes and end notes and uh, we will insert bibliography at the end of the document and that goes side by side with the page break because before we insert the bibliography we will go to the end of the page and then uh, insert a page break and then have a blank page by itself to uh, insert the bibliography so uh, are you ready to get started with this lab? alright good so to get started with this lab you need to uh, start with the instructions uh, sections so in the instructions it says open word 7 uh, start starting file we already did that save the document as word lab 7docx so I will go ahead and click on file and then after I click on file I will go ahead and click on save as and I will click on the folder that we use to save our uh, solutions uh, if you don't have it you create it please it's a good habit to have uh, a structured folder as we do for our Microsoft Word labs and we'll do the same thing when, when we start uh, working with Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint so you have all of your files uh, in the right location so I will change the name of this file to Word Lab 7 and then click on uh, OK and uh, now I have uh, I have completed the second item in the instructions uh, it says uh, check the spelling and grammar and correct the document as needed so this is something that you will do on your own but I will go ahead and get you started you will click on review tab and then click on spelling and grammar and once you click on spelling and grammar go through the document and make sure that you uh, correct any errors that you see for example here uh, if I close this one if I go back here resume it says that I need to correct this one but I'm not going to correct it you need to uh, do that please I will just give you an example here if I uh, choose the second one here or do you know what that's a name so and this name I know that this name is correct so I will go ahead and ignore so now finished you want the rest of the document yes go ahead and check the rest of the document okay. second one here ignore it and then I know this is a name and uh, this is a book I used before I will go ahead and click on uh, ignore uh, ignore again and now I am done with the uh, spelling also you need to go through the document and see if, if there are any grammar mistakes and try to fix that, fix that. but if you look at the very bottom here and uh, look at the no proofing errors that gives you an indication that you don't have any uh, spelling or uh, grammar uh, errors which is uh, uh, in this scenario it will be uh, a document free of uh, errors so we are done with number three let's go ahead and start with uh, number four to uh, complete number four it says at the beginning of the document if you are anywhere inside the document and you need to go to the first line of the document you press control home Control home will put you at the first line of your document or you can click at the beginning of the line once you have the IPM for the insertion point and then you go to the o, to the first character or letter in the uh, first line and then uh, click and that will uh, put your uh, IBM or cursor uh, at the beginning of the document All right so now I need to insert a cover page so to insert a cover page do I go to the insert page yes and then you click on page 
and then choose cover page what is the name of the cover page it's called filigree and then once I click on it I have my cover page inside my uh, document it will take a minute here and then if I scroll down it already inserted the cover uh, page uh, in the cover page here it says update the elements so this cover page I have some elements and I need to update these elements before I continue uh, it says here the document title should be a uh, teaching online uh, program so I'll go ahead and click on it and then I will start typing teaching uh, online uh, program all right and then uh, the subtitle should be created by your first name and your last name if your first name is John and your last name is William you will type John William created by colon space John space William so in my, my scenario here I will go ahead and do the same thing uh, created uh, by colon and then I will put my first name and uh, my last name uh, then you will need to scroll down to complete the elements of this cover page it says here that date the date please make sure that it choose today's date so basically if you click on the down arrow here and then it choose today that will insert today's date so easy and then the company name uh, please make sure that you change the company name to the college name so it will be mountain uh, empire uh, community uh, college all right and then the uh, address uh, which is the address I gave you in the instructions here it's 3441 and then a space Mountain Empire Road and then a uh, comma a uh, big stone gap and then another comma uh, that is in Virginia dot and then I will put uh, 24219 which is the zip code so basically uh, that's what you need to do to complete the cover page look you created a cover page in almost no time it looks very nice right so now let's go ahead and continue with our uh, lab instructions uh, it says here add a website source as depicted uh, below so you look at this image here and make sure that you add a website source so now I need to add a source which tab do I need to go to so now I'm working with a research paper and I need to update my references so now looking at my document here yes you are right this tab here if you click on it and then click on manage sources you can do that and once you click on manage sources you click on new or another way to do it you can go to insert citation and click on add new source and it will take you direct to the create source you choose the source correct source that I'm asking you to create and then you uh, fill in the information so I will go ahead and do it the first way manage sources this is easier because you can uh, look at it update it uh, edit it delete it copy it and so on and see uh, a, a sample of how the uh, citation looks like so I'll go ahead and click on new and now same thing right and then I will choose website yes that's correct uh, the author you will need to type uh, Minnesota and then comma the university actually uh, what I need to do I need to fix that and I will just type the University of Minnesota So please make sure that you uh, fix that uh, for some reason it's just mixed up in the uh, author University of Minnesota and then once you finish here you go down and the name of the uh, web page it will be www actually you need to add HTTP and then column double forward slashes www dot university uh, of Minnesota M uh, N and then dot edu uh, then it says here uh, the name of the site or, or the name of the website the University of Minnesota same thing so you will take this one here and go to uh, the name of the website the year you will put 2010 and then the month you will go ahead and add uh, 
February, which is 2, and then 4 for the day. Uh, the URL, same URL that you added here, this is just to get you practiced, uh, and then uh, in the future, uh, you can update this information based on the reference that you are using in your page. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and that will add the bibliography entry as you see it uh, right now. Uh, then uh, it says here, insert another source uh, in the item below it here, if I move this a little bit to the left, uh, insert another uh, book source. So I will go ahead and click on new, and this time I will choose book instead of website, which is the first one. And then the author will be uh, Rina, and then uh, m dot uh, uh, off right, and then comma uh, Keith, and then uh, Pratt, right. Uh, then you will uh, go to the title and then type building online learning community. Building uh, online learning community and then you will go to the year and then add 2007 as you see in the image so uh, you are just copying the information from the instructions to the actual uh, uh, manage sources section inside your solution the city is San Diego and then the uh, publisher is John Willie uh, and sons right let me fix this here and then you click on ok so now you had you added uh, two of them and then once you finish you click on ok again so let's go ahead and continue with the instructions so we are progressing we finished all the way to number seven now it says here insert a bibliography at the end of the document in a separate page so now this is the document that your solution you will press control end to go to the end of the documents and then you press control enter to go to a new page which is going to give you a page break as we explained at the very beginning and once you go to the uh, a new page at the very end of your documents you will click on bibliography and then you will uh, uh, insert the bibliography and that will add the two items that you added right now. Let's say uh, there are some some elements here that are not complete. It's a good idea. I need you to complete it and try to uh, go online and search for uh, some of the sources I'm using here and update your bibliography. So this this is an additional exercise. And once you update, you will go to manage sources and then add new based based on your reading after you read this uh, document you go look for more uh, sources and then once you add them you click on update citation and bibliography and that will add any new uh, box that you add to your uh, document please keep that in mind this is very nice feature uh, inside Microsoft Word you can use that for any paper uh, that you are uh, completing uh, throughout your academic years at the college here or if you move to uh, another uh, college or uh, in the business environment in the future. Uh, it says here insert a citation in the first paragraph beside uh, Pell of and Pratt. So you will go to the uh, uh, very beginning of the document control home actually this is the instructions so I don't need to the beginning uh, why I, I move to the beginning of the instructions because the blinking eye beam is inside the instructions so you need to make sure that you activate your solution and then press control home that will take you to the first page now you scroll down we are done with the title page and it says here insert a citation source beside uh, let's say Pratt here you click here and then take a space and go to references and then insert citation and then you insert uh, the citation for that uh, publisher and that's what you uh, get by uh, inserting uh, this uh, citation All right so you have a brief citation here and a comprehensive list of uh, this uh, source is at the very bottom of the page under bibliography so now you know the difference between uh, adding or inserting a citation and inserting a complete bibliography at the end of the 
of the documents right so now we are uh, uh, going to cover something that you really uh, like now uh, which is uh, adding a watermark do you know when you go to any business office sometimes you will see uh, a very light text in the background of the page that has the logo of the business you can do the same thing in Microsoft Word now you are a computer professional and you should be able to do that on your own so I will go to the my solution and then I will go to now I need to add a watermark so now should I go to the page layout or should I go to the design or the insert which tab do I need to go to to access the water, wa watermark yes you are right you have seen it under design you click on watermark and then since I need to add my own image these default selections here don't fit my need so I will go to uh, custom Walmart and then once I go to custom Walmart I will make sure that I choose the uh, image uh, it's coming up just one second uh, select a picture and then you go to the office uh, clip art and type here collaboration and then press enter and then once you press enter you will get the image I mentioned in the instructions you click on it and then click on insert and then click on uh, ok that will uh, add you might see it very uh, light very light why is it very light because uh, if it has the uh, strong pixels you should it will uh, hide the text in the document so uh, in order to show the text in the document uh, Microsoft Word it changes the transparency of the image to be very low so you can see the text inside your uh, document so now we are done let's to go up a little bit and look at what we have look it looks very nice now very nice now and then the first line of each paragraph by half an inch so you will go to your document here and then start from the first paragraph click and drag all the way down all the way down but don't select the bibliography we need to do that for all of the paragraphs inside my document and then you go to home tab you click on the uh, dialog launcher beside paragraph and once you go here you go to a special first line indent and I need to indent it by half an inch and then, then click OK look at my paragraphs now I'm done with this one as well my document now it is looking more professional as I finish the uh, instructions that I have uh, right now All right now it says here insert a centered table as depicted in the image below where do you put it you put it after the second paragraph so this is the first paragraph of my document right and this is the second paragraph of my document so you go to the end of the second paragraph and then press enter now how do you insert a table that looks like that okay now that might take us a, a while to finish but it's very important to learn how to uh, modify and uh, format tables in Microsoft Word. So I need to insert a table. So which get tab do I need to go to? Yes, you're right. I will go to the insert tab and then I will go to table. Now, I will insert two columns. Two, should I insert two? Let's start to buy two uh, uh, columns and one row. All right, and then I will start typing. So what is the first text here? It says method. So you will type method and then tab when you press tab it takes you to the next cell so percent and then if I press shift tab it will take you to to the cell the previous cell tab again it will take you to the next cell right now I need uh, one more row so, all right tab again it will create a row uh, and then you type discussion uh, board and then tab again uh, uh, you type the percent which is uh, 10% tab again journal right and then tab again you type five percent and then tab social networks and then uh, tab one more time uh, and then type five uh, percent all right so now uh, it looks a little bit like the one I have here but not I'm not there yet look at the text the text is centered dead in the middle 
So now I need to uh, insert a, a, a row before. So if I go here and then do you see this plus sign? I will click on this plus sign. Now I get a blank row, but it is not in the correct location. So can I do that? Can I select this whole row and then go to the uh, layout? All right, and then insert. I need to insert. Insert. Uh, let me make this bigger so you can see all of the option. Insert. Uh, a column okay this is a column I already selected the entire column All right this is this whole thing here is a column so I selected my column I will go to uh, insert I need to insert what insert a row or a, or a column so now this is for column or row it shows you here it shows you this is for rows now I need to insert a column that goes left perfect so now I inserted a column that goes left so the way I inserted the column here was good but I don't need the column here so I need to select this entire column look at my cursor you and so, until you see the black uh, arrow you click and then you go to uh, layout tab make sure that layout is uh, open and then you go to delete and then you delete columns perfect so now I have my three columns as you see in the instructions so I will go ahead and drag that here okay now uh, student success so I will go here and type student uh, success and the text here is horizontal but the text in the instruction is uh, vertical please everyone make sure that this is an image if you copy this image and paste it here you will get zero for the entire lab so please don't do that I need you to work on the actual uh, lab and finish it step by step so now I need to uh, make all of these cells as one single cell how, how can I do that I will go to the uh, layout here and then I will click on merge cells all right perfect so once you go to merge uh, cells now let me maximize here so you can see the options I have do you see under alignments make sure that the layout tab is select and then look at under alignments it choose text direction here and that will uh, give you the format that we need for uh, the lab as you see it here so I'll go ahead and uh, uh, change the size of this uh, table now I need to uh, center it you click on the uh, table here do you see this icon here this will select the entire table and then you go to the home tab and then it choose uh, center and that will center the table exactly in the middle All right so now look at percent look at method look at, at student success uh, they are shifted all the way up I need them to, to display exactly as you see them here All right so I will go ahead and click select the entire table and then go to uh, layout and then I will click on auto fit and then I will choose auto fit contents so now I'm getting closer to completing this lab then I will go to the design tab and then it choose the design that uh, looks like my table here so I choose the design what is the name of this design it is called great table 5 dark accent 4 right so now uh, uh, my table is not centered anymore so to center it you go to home make sure it is selected you click on center and now you have it centered one more time okay look at this table do you see the alternate rows style here to fit to make sure that you have a wide background as you see it here you go to the layout tab all right or actually the design tab and then click on Uncheck banded rows, all right. So that gives you, but it doesn't give you a wide background. To get a wide, okay. Well, do you know what the uh, 
the border of this uh, table is does not match the border of this table the border of this table is yellow I'm so glad this is happening so when you make this mistake you know that you need to match this table exactly to look like it so you select the entire table look for a design that matches what I have here so now that looks more like this one but I will have to change the color for the headers and then I will go to uh, home and then I will center it uh, then I will change the fonts I will use the text effect here to this font which is called uh, fill gray 25 background to inner shadow now uh, I will also apply the same font to the title of my table I need to make sure that the background of this the fill background to be uh, black now I'm getting closer and the fill background for this one is going to let me make sure that I select the actual background and then I will choose dark dark navy here does that look like it what about this one here here okay if you choose dark uh, dark blue that would be uh, would be fine uh, looking at the table here and then let me uh, make this text a little bit bigger so I will uh, make it bigger uh, I know this lab is this table by itself is a lot of work but you will learn you will learn if you do this or you complete this table now I need to make the size of my student success to be bigger now I'm getting closer look at the discussion board and the journal and social networks they are bold right so I need to apply the bold effect now uh, what else can I do look at student success here and look at student success here does it look good to you <laughs> it's not the same it doesn't look the same you will lose points if you don't get it completely correct as you see in the table so I will select student success and then I will go to the paragraph then I will uh, make sure that I don't have any indentation I don't have any uh, spacing after the paragraph and then I will choose single space and then choose OK now look at student success much better now right much better do the same thing for uh, methods so you go to paragraph remove the uh, space after and then make sure that you have single and then click OK now go ahead and click on layout and make sure that uh, let me maximize this so you can see all of the uh, alignments so in table you have different alignments right so now for student success you do the same thing now it looks great so now let's go ahead and take this one to the left side and look at both of them here uh, do they look the same to you they look the same uh, except this shadow here is a little bit darker but that's fine you can choose dark blue for uh, the color the background color for the table header so I guess uh, what you can do you can use do you see this this uh, box here if you click and drag you can change the actual look you can change the size of the entire table you keep doing that until you make it look professionally so this is a, a practice more than a, a lab a practice for you to get your table uh, correct inside your uh, documents so it says here find the first co cooperation word in the documents so how do you find the first cooperation word first you click inside the solution press control home to go to the first line and then uh, go to home tab click on editing and then it choose uh, find or you can press ctrl f on the keyboard and then I need to search for cooperation right and then once I look once you type cooperation it will show you all of the instance of cooperation so find the first cooperation word in the document which is here in the first line then add a footnote beside it that is entitled working together so you click beside cooperation here so now I don't need this anymore because I know where is the location of cooperation and then I will go to 
preferences and then I will click on insert footnote and the title or the text of this uh, footnote will be working working what working together right and once you are done you click anywhere inside your document so a footnote is very nice because someone can go here and then look at what you really mean by cooperation right find all instances of db make sure that you match the case and replace it by discussion board so you could go inside your documents and you go to the home tab click on editing and then click on replace so you need to replace db uppercase by discussion board right but make sure you click on more and then choose match case and then once you are done you click replace it replaced the first one replace again it replaced the second one or you can re replace all and it will tell you here that there were some replacements in the documents so now I will go ahead uh, I'm done I will close this one it says here uh, save and upload the uh, file word lab 7 uh, via blackboard so you save that and then upload it uh, to blackboard so if you look if we go back here and then look at the solution look at the solution here that's how your uh, research paper should look like do you see how it looks now it looks much better right please everyone make sure that your document looks like that and if you'd like to add more more bibliography as i mentioned this is optional but if you have it the way it looks like now that would be perfect uh, thank you everyone for uh, watching and i'll see you in future videos bye bye